Alright guys, we're gonna get through patch notes. Um, might leave the music running in the background actually. Um, but yeah, we do have a new patch for the PTU. And, um, let's just turn it down a little bit. And, um, seems like it's actually quite a decent patch. But what we'll do is we'll go through and we'll have a look at it. And, uh, we'll be playing this obviously live. So you guys can come and check us out on Twitch. Once this goes up, we'll be still playing it. So, right. hey, um, that patch, it's actually PTU for everybody. Really? Well, I've as I have access to it, so at least it's 5 one. Um, so I'm just going to go through the M patch, read out the patch notes, and um, I might jump into the PTU. I'm just copying over my PU folder now. Um, so Alpha Patch 3.2.12.M has been released to the PTU. is now available for test. Patch should now show version uh, 6.7.3.1.2.8.9. So I remember they delete their user folder and database reset is yes, long term persistence enabled, 15, 000, uh, 15 million dollars starting credits. Testing focus is general gameplay, known issues, ship canopy bug uh, is still there, so ship's canopy will open without user inputs. Uh, let me go through and update the PTU. Um, uh, players' eyes are extra reflective in videos. Select CR series station external elevators are missing. Uh, it's uh, curl L1 and curl L5. Uh, shopkeepers of both live fire weapons and gravity defense stand away from their desks. Been arrested with a bounty slots occupied. Uh, sorry, both utility slots occupied causes the player to respawn in prison with a broken multi tool. They don't say how to fix that. Mm -mm. Um, feature updates, gameplay, uh, decreased minimum and maximum insurance claims, wait for timers for non-starter ships. So that'll be everything like your, for example, your, maybe your Cutlasses, but your Caterpillars, your 890 Jumps, your, your Mercury Star Runners and stuff like that. Like, for example, the Mercury Star Runner, it just got blown up. It's 48 minutes for it to be, like, yeah, without expert I did. So they did need to adjust that. Balance pass on mission payouts to make them even more rewarding. Oh, got to love that part. Update Northrock group bounty price and made them local to your systems. Uh, changed it so that if a bounty hunter kills a PvP bounty, the mission is withdrawn rather than failed for any other players with that mission. That's cool. Um... Added a uh, warning to refinery terminals, letting players know that unselected materials from a ship will be discarded when creating a job. And interim price adjustments on restock uh, ship ordnance, missiles, torpedoes, and counter missions. Core Tech, they've updated settings, uh, steps, and options manual for OBI head ratio to 0.01. Bug fixes, and oh, there's a fair bit, um, so let's go through these. Fixed an issue causing the talent engines to overheat and the ship to lose power when powering up. So that was the whole taking off when you're like literally just jumping in. You don't have to worry about that so much now, presumably. Commodities should no longer be displayed incorrect text and should now be sellable at all trade kiosks. Uh, holiday boxes should now be able to be sold. ASOP spawned ship assets should no longer load slowly when the first connecting to a server. There should be no longer a two AI NPC standing behind the guide office desk at the mineable shops on the refinery decks. Fixed an issue is causing some players to initially load when joining the PTU. To infinite load, sorry, when joining the PTU. Um, fixed an issue causing players to sometimes get stuck on the splash screen when loading into the game. Fixed an issue causing some clients to not receive the full members list in the global channel. Fixed an issue causing shadow cast by the light from the Stanton Star to pop in and out when in cities. I think that's that whole white flare I was getting every now and then. Maybe. Um, Fixed an issue causing shadow cast by the lighting of the Stanton system. Oh, yeah, sorry, I said that. Um, Fixed Talon weaponed rack should now have uh, and should have now prompt to close after it's been opened. It's okay, we still can't even find it. Fixed an issue causing some players to see a practical film grain when it was disabled. Cool. Uh, a blank contrast uh, contract is available. Notification should no longer be displayed during the gameplay. 
uh, fixed an issue where using turrets in most ships fixed visa error visa error issues okay uh, I think that's like the visor. Oh, yeah, visor issue error is when, yep, terms. Yep. Fix the patch ladder, uh, pitch ladder not uh, being aligned properly in the mole. Uh, Lawville cinematic music should now play correctly. Play will now send a video feed in a VoIP call if the player does not have a mic. So, play will now still send a video feed in VoIP if the player does not have a mic. Okay. Um, so maybe they can do like hand signals or something. Uh, Miles Eckhart will no longer have a long pause after the player sits down. Fix an issue causing certain keybinds not to be removable. Assault vehicle infrastructure should no longer be applied instantly so that it can be forgiven. Um, numerous assaults, uh, assets and structures should no longer fail to load in each of the classic race maps. Uh, account reset should no longer sometimes fail and lead to multiple issues such as ships being doubled in game. Fixed an issue in Arena Commander causing players to display on the same team. They fixed 12 client crushes, holy shit, 7 server crushes, and they did some back end optimization as well. Alright, Fez, thoughts on the patch? I just hope it works. Well, I'm about to find out. I'm jumping in. Um, I'm jumping into the PU, by the way. I'll be to you. Um, it looks good. It looks promising. There's still a couple of known issues, but to be honest, they're all minor. They're obviously being arrested with both utility slots is kind of a major thing. But apart from that, maybe the elevators, but all the rest of the stuff, like the eyes are reflective and video, ship canopy bug, look. It's not a major thing. It's really not a game-breaking bug. So, yeah, I would say this is a pretty decent patch. Um, so, we'll obviously see what well, happens, I, but are you going to jump into the PU, PTU, or what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'll jump in. Oh, hi. Hi, hi John. How are you? Oh, what about okay. you, Fizz? Doing some investigating right now. Investigating. You're still trying to figure to out. To see, yeah, how they got the address. Well, I was going to say, if you do want to do that, the PTU is probably a good... Although they might have patched it. I was going to say, PTU might be a good thing, because it won't affect your Chrome state in the real game. In PU. I mean, I've already got a today Chrome state in the, the, the PU, so... Alright. <laughs> yeah. um, Alright, guys, yeah, but apart from that, obviously we are streaming at the moment. Well, at least I am. I don't know what Fizz is up to. Besides trying to get a crime stat. Um, but yeah, obviously feel free to jump in chat and uh, jump in Twitch because we are live at the moment. We are actually, we were playing the PU when this dropped. Please let me know. So uh, yeah, guys, let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. If you're on Twitch right now, stay tuned because uh, we're about to jump back into it and um, yeah, get into trouble. Apart from that, guys, have a great night. Enjoy yourself, everybody, and we'll see you in the game.